challenger viewed by many in the United States as the legitimate favorite to win this fight, Alexis Aguayo. Quickly to the records, Escalera, 49 times he's answered the bell, 39 times he's won, 26 KOs, a slick boxer when he wants to be, good foot movement, a flicking left jab, good power in either hand, and then Aguayo, the exciting puncher, known as the explosive thin man, he's gotten... 14 first round knockouts, his average fight only 4.3 rounds. Arguello, Alexis Arguello. There he is on your monitor as we get ready to start the fight. Arthur McCanny is the third man in the ring. To give you some idea of his qualifications, this is his 28th championship fight that he is refereeing. Okay, the bout underway. Watch Arguello. He wades in. He's afraid of no one. He is not hard to hit, but the opponents have found out with 55 knockout, 55 victories and 58 fights, the opponents have found out that it's not enough to hit him because he hits you back and he creams you. 45 knockouts and there's 55 victories. Escalera in the green and yellow trunks. For those of you with color sets, Aguayo, blue and white. Escalera to the right of your screen. Aguayo to the left. See? Right there, Escalera with a good right lead right there. Before that, a good left and a right. And Escalera, who is a favorite to win this fight in his native Puerto Rico, but not elsewhere, putting on a good early show in the first... We are having temporary audio difficulties from Puerto Rico. You're watching the World's Junior Lightweight Championship. It matches, of course, Alfredo Escalero. There are the graphics, if you cannot read them. Escalero is in the green trunks with the yellow stripes. And Aguayo, a former featherweight champion, who retired, coming back. This is the very first round. Both of these young men, very strong punchers. Escalero, with 26 knockouts in his career, has a slight weight advantage. Escalero now lives in New York City. He was born in Carolina, Puerto Rico. A great favorite, known as the Snake Man. The very first round, San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're having audio difficulties at the top of the fight. You saw Howard Cosell being drenched in a downpour there, and perhaps that is one of the reasons we are having the audio problems. In any event, this is the World Junior Lightweight Championship, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Some wild swinging on the part of Guayo in the early moments of this first round. Escalera, of course, with the big punch. He knows he can take him out anytime he wants with one shot. The referee, Arthur McCanty, a veteran championship referee over his career. Aguayo, moving in. Both fighters just sort of testing each other. We have seen a couple of wild right hands thrown by both fighters. That was Aguayo missing. Aguayo again, again the former featherweight champion. Escalera, of course, the rainy world junior lightweight champion. Coming to the end of round one, we'll be back with more action. You're looking at a live shot from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Second round of the world's junior lightweight championship. Alfredo Escalero, he is in the green trunk, yellow stripe, and the man on the move at the moment is Alexis Aguayo. I am not your basic Howard Cosell. I am reporting from New York, the fight, as you are seeing the pictures live from San Juan. That was not a knockdown. A slip by Escalero. We have had technical problems with our sound from our remote in San Juan. We occasionally will get a shot of the umbrellas. The fight opened in a tremendous downpour, and perhaps that is one of the reasons we were having the technical difficulties. Escalero with a strong right hand. Escalero, of course, the reigning world's junior lightweight champion. Aguayo, retired in November of 76. It was a brief retirement. He retired as the featherweight champion of the world and came back to contend for the world's junior lightweight crown and was culminated at this very moment. This is the second round. Going against the snake man, Escalero. Aguayo, a Nicaraguan by birth. An impressive record. 
Aguayo, 52 fights, and he had three losses. But again, he has stepped up in weight to the World's Junior Lightweight Championship bout, and he's in there right at the very moment with one of the fine young fighters in the game today. Brief flurry of punches. If you missed the first round, it was some wild swinging at the beginning and then a testing. And now we are seeing what we anticipated between these two fighters. They were both non-stop fighters, as most of your lightweight fighters are. Escalero, the heavier puncher of the two. Escalero, 26 knockouts in the 39 victories that he's had. Okay, we think we have Howard back. Let's see if we can find him. Throwing heavy left. Between rounds, Doc trying to get off the mechanic's attention to determine exactly what his call was when Escalero went to the canvas. In this downpour, the ring is protected by the proverbial hot tin roof. So the canvas has been dry. Five seconds to go. Aguayo with that long right lead. Escalera so far in the main has flipped it effectively with the head move. Mercani all over the fighter. That's why he gets his referee championship fight. There is a cut over the corner of Escalera's left eye. A trickle of blood and a cut. Again, the head flips the punch. But Arguello keeps coming, and oh, the power in those fists as we count down to the end of round two. Already a bruising battle for the junior lightweight title. Okay, the start of round three. Escalera, green and yellow, left of your screen. Arguello, blue and white right I just spoke with referee Arthur McCann. Hey, it was an knockdown. A short, jolting right. B, Arthur says he gave him a count of eight, though it did not appear so. So, a knockdown registered by Arguello in the second round. A tremendous foul, we told you. No wonder they call him the explosive spin man. Got opened in the second round against Escalera. But to the left of the left guard. Not the kind of cut designed to impede vision, however. Both to one minute into the third round. Now, as you look at Escalera, you will see the material they put over the corner of that left arm. But it is to the side of it. This crowd, largely natives of the island, standing for their champion. But Arguello, in a way, even looking ahead, so confident was it, coming into this bout. Escalera outboxed him the first round. Arguello beat him up in the second round. A little more than halfway through the third round. Escalera is just a boxer to stay in this thing. Just to use that left jab. Keep the opponent off balance. He's got to move. Just to avoid those Aguero, Aguero punches. And that's not easy. Fifty seconds left. And this is the third round. Second round, a complete turnabout from the first. <laughs> Counting down, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, to the end of the third round. The action considerably less than what it was in the second round, and for that matter, the first round. The crowd is alive. The end of the round coming up. We're back live, Lubriel Stadium, an outdoor stadium.
Rinsing down for him, Puerto Rico. Round four. Escalera defending his junior lightweight championship against the paralyzing country. Alexis Arguello. Right there you saw Escalera score with a couple of good left. We hope to give our local stations an opportunity to identify themselves at the end of this, the fourth round. Escalera trying to fight back from a second round knockdown. Short, jolting right. Escalera, who boxed well in the first round, and you just saw Escalera slip to Arguello punches with his head. He's been effective doing that the whole fight, except in the second round. Arguello nearly tore him apart. Some feel you can outbox Arguello only so long. On November 23rd, 1974, the legendary Ruben Olivares did it for 12 rounds. In the 13th, Arguello got him, put him away, won the featherweight title. He defended successfully four times, had five non-title bouts, left the featherweight. Note, each fighter is long, lean, the fighters in the lower weight classification. Escalera is 5'9", Arguello is 5'9 and a half. Each has a good reach. Fourth round action. Mercani cautioning Escalera for the backhand flip. Meanwhile, blood over Escalera's right eye. Blood over the eye. The kind of gut that can impede the vision. Escalera keeping his gloves up, trying to protect that eye, that right eye now. The other cut is to the side of the left eye. We see no mark on our quail. Round four, coming to a close. We will return for more of ABC's Wide World of Sports following this word from our local state. live from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. The start of the fifth round. We had a little set to in Escalera's corner. His corner men hadn't gotten out early enough. Arthur McCanny, the referee, studied the look of Escalera's eyes between rounds. Escalero may be flashier, but boy, Arguello doesn't have to be flashy. He is straight up, a powerhouse puncher, unafraid. And there is TNT in each glove. Escalera's face looks mushy. Both eyes already damaged. The cut to the left side of the left eye, the cut over the right eye. This is fifth round action. Give the first round to Escalera. Two rounds easily to Arguello, maybe a third. 
maybe maybe uh, that last one even we're coming up to the halfway mark in the fifth round Scoring, of course, done by the referee and two judges. Ten-point must system. One knockdown in the fight, the second round. Aguayo put Escalera down. As you can see, the action has spilled a bit. Oh, Aguayo... Straight up, straight ahead. Keeps waving in. Escalera trying to box. The left got to Escalera right there. You wonder what's inside this guy's fist, Aguayo. There's blood coming out of Escalera's mouth now. 45 seconds left in the round. Seems that every time Aguayo lands, more blood is drawn from Escalera. You can see his face there. Escalera's face is a mess. The kind of damage Aguayo is wreaking. One wouldn't expect this fight to go that much longer. Blazed look now in Escalera's eyes. He doesn't look well or confident. Okay, sixth round action about to get underway. Alexis Aguayo of Nicaragua now in total command of the fight. Oh, by the Escalera damage. That's Escalera to the left of your screen, Aguayo to the right. And blood drawn immediately from the mouth of Escalera again. As I said at the end of the fifth round, Escalera's eyes are glazed. Aguayo seems hardly to have worked up a sweat. The downpour has relented, but the canvas was always dry, protected by that hot tin roof. Escalera trying to fight back. No work so far tonight. Oh, a good combination. Again, a caution by Mercanic to Escalera for hitting with the back of the glove. Al Silvani is Aguayo's cut man. He hasn't had to do anything tonight. You remember Silvani, he's cut man for Floyd Patterson against Muhammad Ali in 65 at Las Vegas. He's the man who kept lifting Patterson up, trying to straighten out his back between rounds. Halfway through round six. Escalera getting instructions from his corner. His corner directly next to, and Escalera above us when he goes into the corner. But Escalera seems dull and dazed now from the punishment he's been absorbing, and he hardly reacted to the instructions of the corner. Escalera trying to counterpunch. A minute left in the round. Forty-five seconds left in the sixth round. Notice the way Aguayo stands up there. Keeps coming. And his punches produce blood. Less than 30 seconds left. You're counting down. This is sixth round action. The crowd exhorting Escalera on. But they must be sensing the punishment he has taken up till now. They have to sense it if they don't see it. Round seven underway, live from Puerto Rico. Junior lightweight title at stake. 
Escalera. Dancing now, bouncing on his toes, wanting movement. That's what is nothing but split, split blood between rounds. Aguayo to the right of your screen. Still, straight up. The punches, crisp, sharp. When they get in there, they damage. Last round was better for Escalera in the sense that he fought Aguayo about even. There's been one knockdown in the second round. Scored by Aguayo, who has been the dominant fighter in this fight. See that blood coming out of Escalera's mouth? He's doing nothing but spitting blood. He must be in pain. But he is game. We're approaching the half minute mark of the seventh round. Chris Dundee, the brother of Angie Dundee, Ali's trainer, is at this fight. He has expressed the conviction that Arguello is the only fighter who could beat Roberto Duran. That's a dangerous way for Escalera to fight Arguello. Arguello, the stronger man, the more devastating punch. Right men the left by Arguello, hurting Escalera. Organi separates the fighters. Less than a minute to go in round seven. And Arguello taking command again. See that left get in there? Now look, Escalera looking right over at us, at his corner people, but not able to respond to their bleeding. Again, the head gets damaged by a combination, and then another right to go with the left and right. Counting down. 24, 23. This is the seventh round. It's got to be hard for Escalera to breathe with the amount of blood in his mouth. Still another impediment to his fighting. As we continue to approach the end of round seven. All right, you see all the patchwork on Escalera's face. In the meantime, Arthur McCanny, ever diligent, had Amari Capella, the ring doctor, look at Escalera. And the ring doctor said, three minor cuts, nothing serious. Well, I hope I don't have a look at anything serious. Eighth round action, underway. Escalera's back to you, Arguello pursuing. Some think that Arguello, with his five, nine and a half, is best, or would be best, at 135 pounds. And that's why it'd be so effective against Roberto Duran. Some think that, including the same Chris Dundee, who's here tonight. Say this, Chris has been around a lot of years, has good judgments on fighters. Again, the blood comes out of Escalera's mouth. You saw Aguayo come in with the left and the right. round action. One right scored by Escalera, a counterpunch. A wild left, amateurish for a champion. Note the countdown in round eight, the lower right hand corner of your screen. To the midsection, did not get through, the left did by Escalera. Again, the caution from McCann. It infuriates the Islanders, as you can hear. Drum incessantly in the background. 
Beating time, hopefully. Tascalaris punches. Good, light lead. Stung Escalera. After Escalera seemed to be boxing a good round. That right lead stung the champion. Snapped him back. He's not on his toes now. Yes, he is. He moves to that position. Trying to get moving. Coming up to the end of the round, we will stay here live at Lubriel Stadium in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Between rounds. Hopefully slow you some slow motion. Okay. Escalera survives the eighth round. And then some, perhaps. Now, as we watched Escalera go to his corner, let's watch this action in slow motion. You can see the fierceness in Arguello's face as he got the left in past the guard, following the right lead. Interesting, isn't it, how the right lead is becoming a more and more usable blow for many fighters. Arguello's eyes give an opponent absolutely nothing. To show you the measure of Escalera's bleeding, we now have blood right in front of us in some of my trench coat from Escalera's corner. We are coming up to the ninth round, the warning bus. All right. You know, the way he waited to get the mouthpiece in and cut as he is, you wondered if he really wanted to go out there, but he did. And once in there, this is a, again, again, Escalaris dismayed with himself. You saw the clip of the glove with the back of the hand. Escalera, always a sportsman as a fighter, and certainly a man who has not been afraid to defend. This is a record-setting 11th title defense. This is ninth round action. Many felt that it wouldn't go this far. It was a case where the challenger outside of Puerto Rico was heavily favored. But Escalera is a stubborn champion. Half the ninth round gone. Boxing reasonably well in this round. Aguayo, more static. Not pursuing as much. This is his ninth round. Escalera, with the blood pouring out of his mouth, making a good show of it and landing the punches. to go in the round. The action quickens. The crowd picks up and there is a cut over Aguello's Aguello's eye. This is a comeback round for Escalera. Though a good left just got in by Aguello. First mark on Aguello. So Escalera fights back. Escalera in charge right now. Escalera having a good round. This is ninth round action as Aguayo, for the first time, seems a trifle weary. A stubborn champion. We're back for the start of the 10th round in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. 17,000 roaring spectators. 
watching Alfredo Escalera to the right of your screen. Try to defend this title against a terrific challenger, Alexis Arguella. And when it appeared that Escalera was going downhill, he came back with a good ninth round and won it. Mercani wants him again, frequently. Escalera's been warned about hitting with the back of the glove. Now what we've got to see is, will Arguello wear down? He went into the 13th against Olivares and knocked him out. We hope to give our local stations an opportunity to identify themselves at the end of this round. Many thought it wouldn't go this far. Well, Aguayo, as I was saying, showed he could go 13 against Olivares, and Olivares had given him a boxing lesson for 12 rounds. Number two, this fight's being fought in Puerto Rico. And quite frankly, it's tough after 15 rounds to get a decision against a local champion. But two of our three officials are not involved with Puerto Rico. In fact, none of them are. Mercani from New York, Dick Young from California, and then Garrow from Mexico. That may not be a problem. round action. Less than a minute to go. And Escalera is hanging in there. A lot of blood from that butt over the right eye of Escalera. A lot of blood. No problem with the tiny cut that Aguayo suffered in the ninth round. Escalera making a good fight of it now, using his boxing skills. The champion remains stubborn. We'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports following these messages from our local station. Seventh round just underway. Here live from Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Lubriel Stadium. An uproarious crowd. 17,000. 5,000 it seemed to have turned away. Escalera. With patch marks all over. But hanging in there. Fighting a good round in the night. And a good enough round in the 10th. He was knocked down in the second by Alexis Aguayo, his opponent to the left of your screen. The crowd responds to Escalera's resurgence in the last two rounds with cheering, concerted cheering. For a minute into round 11. Escalera's aim obvious. Box the remaining rounds. Taya Aguayo. 
get a decision on points. That's his goal at this point. In the middle of the fight, the ring doctor was called in by referee Arthur McCann, who said that Escalera had suffered only three minor cuts. For minor cuts, we haven't seen so much blood since Ali destroyed Cooper second time around at Arsenal Stadium, London, in May of 66. Good left lead by Aguayo. Blood again, out of the mouth of Escalera. Interesting, isn't it? Aguayo, a savage puncher to the belly, has not indulged in that practice tonight. Not frequently, anyway. This has become a grueling affair. It started out a war. Then, Aguayo became dominant, took control of the fight with a superior punching ability. And suddenly, when Escalera seemed to be in dreadful shape, he came back in the ninth round. We're approaching the end of the 11th round. The end of the round coming up. Let's go to Frank Gifford in New York. We're back live in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. The downpour is starting again. The canvas still protected. 17,000 roaring fans on hand. And to reset the fight for you, early on, beginning with a knockdown in the second round, Aguayo took apparent command in three different places. Both eyes, the mouth, Escalera has been cut. And there has been a lot of bloodletting by him. He was indeed examined by the ring doctor between one of the middle rounds. He said there were three minor cuts. Suddenly, Escalera came back in the ninth round, had a good boxing round. Came back in the tenth round and had a good enough boxing round. In the eleventh round, it was a close boxing round. I would have given the edge to Arguello, whom I still have in the lead in this bout. But hanging on is Escalera as we approach the one minute mark. And right there, he scored, and he hurt Arguello. And now he's all over Arguello. And the fight suddenly takes a different turn. Look at him leveling punches. You see the cut by Arguello's right eye. This is what Escalera had to hope for. For Arguello to wear down, to tire and to win on superior stamina. Somebody has thrown some debris into the ring. You can't see it right now. Neither does Mercani. He's watching the fighters in command of the fight. The crowd is going crazy as Escalera comes to life in a big way. 12th round action. And this has been some fight. What a cut under Aguayo's right eye under his right eye, no, yes, his right eye, big, huge cut, it will not affect his vision because it's under the eye, but what a cut, Escalera sensed what he had done, he moved in, and he really worked Aguayo over, and he is still doing it, he seems to have all of his confidence back now, he's straight up, Occasionally he's talking to Arguello. This has not happened to Arguello. Both round action and what a round it's been. We'll be staying here between rounds. A half minute to go. The crowd on its feet has won. Escalera the back to you. Arguello still trying to make the fight, but the punch is wild. We'll go to Aguayo's corner when this round ends. You saw Aguayo miss with that wild right. A telltale sign, A, of fatigue, and B, that he's in some trouble. This, as I said, is a stubborn champion, Alfredo Escalera. The end of the round. We follow Aguayo back. 
now Al Silvani for the first time. Let's look at it in slow motion. There's the right by Escalera. The beginning. That hurt Aguayo. Back he went. Escalera then bought in on it. That man behind the round girl. Put the jacket on is Al Silvani. He had had nothing to do all night until this round. Back to the slow-mo. Escalera getting in there with the left. Missing really with the right as Arguello both ducked and covered. And with that left too. But in the midsection he connected with the right. He was the one throwing the punches. That's the change. He was the aggressor. He sensed that he was in Aguayo's reaction to the first blow that took Aguayo under the right arm. Silvani seems to have done a good job on that cut. Out comes Escalera. Right now, seemingly fresh. It's the 13th round. And the crowd yells now with every Escalera blow. This has been a great fight. It was expected to be a good action fight. Many expected Arguello to put Escalera away, as I've mentioned early on. He did not do it. In these later rounds, Escalera has steadily come back. We're 45 seconds into the 13th round. This fight. This fight means so much to Arguello. He was looking forward to taking on Roberto Duran, who many believe inch for inch and pound for pound is the greatest fighter in the world today. This is the round when Arguello knocked out Ruben Olivares. That was November 23rd, 1974 in Los Angeles. They know Aguayo in Los Angeles. They know him in New York where they've seen him knock out three opponents, never in more than four rounds. A good counter left by Escalera. A good counter left. The blood continues to come off Escalera, out of the mouth, from the eyes. But since the ring doctor is elected to pay no attention, we will follow suit. Meanwhile, Escalera is fighting very well indeed. Escalera. Escalera felt that Aguilla had butted him. Indeed, there's a big new cut on the upper lip. So he danced away and complained to Mercani. Mercani, unfortunately, had the fighters back to him and couldn't see it. He is sending, he is sending Arguello to the neutral corner, the cut on, under Arguello's right eye. Ah, McCanny is worried about the cut on the upper lip. He, he's asked the ring doctor. They are going to stop this fight. They are going to stop this fight. And even, even as was the case when he knocked out Olivares in the 13th round to become the featherweight champion, now, they stop the fight in the 13th round. And it's a technical knockout for Alexis Arguello. He becomes the junior lightweight champion of the world. A tough, grueling, often brutal fight with some shifting time. Escalera cut in three different places. Finally, a fourth. That cut proved to be too much. Arthur McCanny looked over at it and told him. Al Silvani is yelling down to us right now. But the point is, whether it was a blow that could not be seen because of the fighters back to us, or a butt, that cut over the upper lip was the one that finally did the job. McCanny could not let the fight go on. He went over to the ring doctor, took matters in his own hands, and said, this is too much. As I said, a thrilling, action-packed fight live from Lubriel Stadium in Bayamon, Puerto Rico.